Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. We begin with Allah's blessed name. We praise Him and we glorify Him as He ought to be praised and glorified. And we pray for peace and for blessings on all His noble messengers, and in particular on the last of them all, the Blessed Prophet Muhammad sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam. We have been engaged so far in what can only be described as a fascinating journey. A journey which could not have been undertaken for all these 1400 years. <laughs> A journey which could only be undertaken now, after the town, after the return of the people to the town, only now. So if you do not find this information in the books of Tafsir, do not be surprised. We return to that crucially important hadith, which is repeated something like eight times in Sahih Bukhari alone, in which the Prophet was asleep at the home of his wife Zainab radiallahu ta'ala anha and he saw something terrible in his sleep and he woke up from his sleep with his face flushed red and he uttered these words these ominous words that every Palestinian is quite familiar with he said, Wailun lil Arab. Woe unto the Arabs. In Sharrin Qadik Taraba. Because of a Sharr, evil, great evil, which is now Karib, which will now become close, Ektaraba. And then he raised his hands and made a hole like this and said, Today, a hole has been made in the rudder, the barrier bit by Zulkarnain, indicating that Allah is now bringing down the barrier. For Ida Jaa Wa'ad Rabbi Jaa Lahu Dakka, Allah is now bringing down the barrier. And once Allah brings down the barrier, the release of Gog and Magog will commence. She asked Zainab radiallahu ta'ala anha annuhlika will we be destroyed wa fina salihun and they are while they are righteous people in our midst would we still be destroyed he said na'am yes the Arabs will be destroyed when Ida kathur al khabath. When the, the timeline has been given by the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, he has actually given us the timeline for the destruction of the Arabs. When khabath prevails in the world, when the world is inundated with khabath, Filth, the filth that comes from pornography, for example, khabath. And so you just have to look around you to see how close it is. How close it is. We are now living in a world more filthy than anything that mankind could ever have dreamed of. And the filth is coming from one direction. It's coming from that direction. From the direction of those who now today control power in the world. 
the head of the filth is of course pornography. It is also homosexuality and lesbianism. It is also feminine nudity, women are dressed and yet naked. It is also a preference, a strange and mysterious preference for sexual relations in public rather than private. That people would have sexual intercourse in public like donkeys, he said. That's coming. A strange and mysterious fascination with having sexual relations in a motor car parked in a park. So people passing by can take a look. It's happening already. And it's coming from one direction. It's coming from those who liberated Jerusalem and then brought Banu Israel back to Jerusalem, to the Holy Land, who presided over the creation of the State of Israel and who have protected Israel until Israel could grow to become a superpower and be poised to take over the rule over the world. Those who today rule the world are a mysterious dual alliance. Dual. It is a mysterious Jewish-Christian alliance which has emerged in Europe and which has spread its tentacles around the world. They are the ones who are bringing the Chabbath to such an extent that it is now almost prevailing in the world. And so as we see the filth spreading, we know that the moment is at hand for the destruction of the Arabs. When the destruction of the Arabs takes place, the critics of this book would be silenced. <laughs> but I want to take you now back to that spot in the Caucasus Mountains because we want to fine-tune our attempt to identify Gog and Magog. It is not sufficient to say that Gog and Magog are the European Christians and European Jews. No, because amongst the European Christians and European Jews, there will be those who become Muslims, there will be those who are our friends and allies. Do not make the mistake of declaring of all Jews that they are your enemies and all Christians, they are your enemies, that will be quite foolish. An American woman 